Hello YouTube, this is Los Angeles Prepper here and we are going to revisit the prepping item ranking system because I added a few more items to sort of clarify different, uh, different things in particular. So without further ado, for anyone that might have some visual impairment, I'm going to go ahead and read the entire list. In no particular order, although the items at the beginning are kind of ranked in what some of the viewers thought, but don't necessarily think that all the viewers agree on the rankings in this list. So, number one, 30 days of food and water and household goods. Number two, 90 days of food, water, and household goods. Number three, six months of food, water, and household goods. Number four, a water filter. Uh, one that you can pump into a container. Number five, a full tang knife that you can baton with. No minimum length per se, but, excuse me, probably something between four to five inches up to, uh, you know, six, seven, eight, somewhere around there. Number six, individual first aid kit or trauma kit or maybe wilderness survival kit, some sort of comprehensive first aid solution. Number seven, an axe, any size you want. Number eight, shelter, could be more makeshift like tarps, could be something more official like tents. Number nine, a shotgun of your gauge preference, probably 12 gauge. Number 10, some type of varmint rifle. Air rifle could be included as well, if not a 22 or a 0.17. Number 11, empty bug out bag. So this is just a bag to carry all your stuff in. Number 12, fire starting kit. Number 13, radio that might pick up UHF, VHF, weather service, shortwave, or FM. Number 14, sleeping bag. Number 15, a 9mm handgun or a pistol. Number 16, some clothing options. Number 17, solar panel, charger, and battery setup. Maybe an inverter too, so you can get some 120 volts, but basically some solar panel power options. Number 18, flashlight or lanterns or headlamps, lighting options. Number 19, stove and fuel. That would be a, okay, sorry, I listed that twice, but this is a, a gas or a kerosene stove. Number 20, multi-tool. Number 21, a bug out vehicle that's gas powered. Number 22, a bug out vehicle that's human powered. And in fact, I will go ahead and replace 31 with bug out vehicle water. Uh, number 23, containers. Number 24, bow and arrow or crossbow. Or let's put uh, alternative weapon, uh, you know, slingshots, I don't know, spears, clubs whatever caveman aztec last of the mohican thing you want to get going addle addles <laughs> addle addles addle addles are pretty badass to be honest number 25 fishing kit 26 5.56 rifle or similar number 27 folding wood saw 28 cordage 29 duct tape 30 hatchet 31 a bug out vehicle water water type i'll just put boat or something i don't know boat kayak canoe trimaran in my case <laughs> in the works number 32 rocket stove so wood or other combustible number 33 tools number 34 generator and gas for 30 days number 35 extra gas for your vehicles number 37 a home garden 37 farm animals small 38 farm animals medium, 39 farm animals large, and number 40, let's say underground bunker. Bunker or bug out cabin slash location. Preferably something that you own, although I suppose in WROL ownership will be interesting. But at any rate, those are 40 items to rank. If you so have the energy, I would appreciate it if you could try to rank as many as you can because items that you leave blank, it means that I either have to leave them out of the aggregate ranking, but that sort of messes it up because 
I want to do, um, you know, I want to do an average of everyone's values. And if people start leaving stuff out, then I have a bunch of blank stuff I kind of have to fill in. So if you have the time and energy, if you could rank at least like t your top 20 or 30, that'll help me get together a good list. And hopefully I can get five or 10 people willing to participate. I will come up with the new updated ranked crowdsource ranked items that you need to be a legitimate prepper thanks for watching like comment subscribe and i look forward to your rankings